Darren Till, I've been following Darren Till closer than I've ever followed Darren Till because he's in Sweden training and Chemayev has got some kind of a gimmick where he's putting shows together each day. And frankly, he's doing awesome. I'm, I'm in the YouTube business. I'm in the podcast business. I'm very impressed with what he's doing because the best stories come from the practice room. If I have any regret throughout my career, I started my career prior to the addition of the iPhone, where now we all have a camera. You just have to go buy it, and you put a cassette in it, and you had to hold it on your shoulder, and somebody you couldn't just prop it up. It's a whole thing. But I saw things dating back to the mid-'90s in the practice room. I mean, the first time I saw MMA in a practice room was the Olympic champion Mark Schultz taking on Tank Abbott. I mean, just to share with you, as Tank was preparing for the ultimate ultimate and knew he was going to draw to Dan Severn, I saw such great stuff. And I could keep telling you stories. I could tell you what happened between Evan Tanner and Dan Henderson. Dan Henderson and Matt Lindland, Randy Couture and Don Fry. Like there was stuff that I saw in the practice room. We don't have any video of it. And I've always thought somebody should go in the practice room. And Chemayev is the first to do it. Where he comes in daily, his editor makes it look like a story. He does a beautiful piece. But Darren Till is part of that. He's left England. He's left his... He's got family in Brazil. He's in Sweden. He's sacrificing everything. He's looking to get better. So I've never been more inundated on Darren Till. That's my only point. Till said something very interesting yesterday. So when he comes back, he doesn't want the pressure of a main event. So I want to ease my way back into it. I don't want the pressure of a main event. Now, Darren Till is a very big fan base. And I have a feeling you guys are drawn to Till for the same reason I'm drawn to Till, which if you want an answer to something that's truthful, ask him. Till doesn't play these games. Till's a badass. He doesn't need to, he, does, he just doesn't do that. He's self-deprecated at times. He'll make his jokes at times. He'll talk about his sore at times. He'll talk about what a monster this guy. He's very honest. This was an honest statement. Many people feel that same way. Some guys only want main events. If you're dealing with a Diaz boy, the more pressure and the longer the fight, their confidence goes up. And a lot of other guys just don't want all the pressure. They don't want all the eyeballs on them. And that's what Till was speaking to. He said, I don't want the pressure of a main event. When you're the marquee name and what he's talking about with pressure, you're going to have all the eyes on you. Your opponent is going to be a guaranteed contender as well. But your media goes up because the marketing is now on your shoulders as the marquee name. I don't know what of that combination Hill specifically was speaking to. I'm just sharing with you that is the ingredients to a main event. So he's talking about one, two, or all three of those things. Now, you of course have the duration that changes. 25 minutes, you have to be very different with your energy. I do not believe that Darren Till has a deficit. I do not believe he has a deficit with his ability to stop takedowns, and I do not believe that he has a deficit once he's on his back of protecting himself and getting up. There's also, a, it looks like he does. It physically looks, I don't think it is, I think it's mental. I think there's a part of him that checks out. It's called taking inventory. If you were dealing with a sports psychologist, it's called taking in, okay, I'm in the second round. I'm already breathing hard. I'm now in a worse position as I used to be in, and there's 15 minutes left, and your mind starts to play tricks. It just does. Your mind will do the math. If I'm in a bad spot, I better get my ass up. There's 40 seconds left in this round, and if I want to win it, I got to go now. That's one trick. That's the one that you hope your mind will go to. But your mind will go to another one as well, which is if I stay here just a little longer, the tag team partner known as the referee is going to step in, and I'm going to get out of the position the same way. That's the one you try to resist. That's the battle. When you hear fighters say, it's not me against the opponent, it's me against myself, that's what they're talking about. You will have a voice in your head telling you how to get out of the position. It's going to mean defeat. It's going to mean all the hard work and all the sacrifice of trying to move your trajectory forward is going to come to a stop, but it's fight or flight. You're in a jam, and there is another way out of this. It's not just to get an underhook, scramble my hips, get my head up and pop to my feet. There's another way out of it which is do less as opposed to more and wait for the referee to step in. It's a very real thing. And when Darren Till, and that's what I think Till's dealing with. I really do. I don't think he has a deficit. I've seen Till on his back. He's a crafty son of a bitch. He really is. I've seen Till with his hips on his feet. Nobody takes him down in the open because they can't control his hips. He's one of these real limber guys. You have to push Darren Till into the fence. 
so that you can at least know where his hips are, right? I mean, he's hard to take down. He really is. But if you go watch a few, a few Attil fights, and especially if you were to isolate his losses, you're going to come to the conclusion that he has a deficit with takedown defense and his ability to get up. I don't think it's true. I think in those fights that Till had, even the fights he got mauled in, I think if they were 15-minute fights, your effort is going to be different. And when your effort is different, the physical side of it, I think that I would win you over, is not a deficit. The mental side of it of, yeah, I can do it once. Can I do it three times? Because it's, it's probably going to have to do it another four. I might as well just stop. Now, that's real. Whether that ended up being true or not, you don't get to know. Your mind leaves the fight for three seconds. That fight is going to be over. I'm being a lot more wordy than Till was, but I think I'm right. I don't think Till's got a deficit. I really don't. I don't know that Till needed to trade, train camps or work any harder. Till's a damn good fighter. He has positions where his mind plays tricks on him. Till never gets in trouble on his feet, but Till doesn't know how. A lot of fighters know how to get out of a fight when they're on the ground. Not very many fighters know how to get out of a fight when they're on their feet. We've seen it. We see through that one real easy. When we know when a guy pretends to be knocked out as he's, as he's reaching and bracing for the fight. I mean, it's a real thing. But some fighters don't know how to do it on their feet. I think that that's Till. Till needs to be on his feet because he doesn't know how to quit. He's never learned how to pretend that he's knocked out. I hope he gets his way. I think when a guy's very honest and a guy is, is willing to make the sacrifices that Darren is, he's left his whole family, he's in a country where he only knew one guy, he's working his ass off twice a day, every day, with no excuses, shows us he wants this. It shows us he has drive. And I will also suppose for you, Till does not care who the opponent is. Just because you come down the card, what appears, perception is it's an easier fight. It's not an easier fight. I think Till will still take on anybody. He's just now asking, can I do it for 15 minutes as opposed to 25? I'm working on a few things. I think my next step in my progression is this. Let me exhale just a little bit. Let me go into a more normal time frame and see what happens. That's his request, guys. Whether you give it to him or not, you guys like Darren Till. You're the ones that shoved his app up to main event in the first place. But there was a big message in that response to Till. I just broke it down for you. That's what it was.